Collins from Southern California. John McKay called him the best blocking tight end he ever coached. Second and six. Oh, what a hit on Lynn Swan by number 28, Ron Bolton, and Swan gets up. Oh, my. He didn't want to get up, but he knew he couldn't stay on the ground. Bolton just unloaded on him, and as is typical of these two teams, a lot of emotion on that field. Here's a look right into Terry Bradshaw's eyes. He spots Swan. And he kind of leaves Swan hanging on a limb. Watch this shot now. Coming up on the bottom down here. Bolton just levels it right dead on. Oh. That, that'll give you a headache all the way up here, Dick. Swan, incredible. At 6 feet 180, the shock he absorbed to bounce on his feet and go back into the huddle. And we'll have more of this kind of action from Pittsburgh. Oh. When we return. Mr. Lynn Swan will be checking with his chiropractor tomorrow. Boy, did you see the way his head snapped back on that hip, Dick? Yeah, the human body is an incredible machine. The, the kinds of, well, this game proves it, play after play. The kind of punishment one can absorb, but if in good condition, still survive. He's a proud athlete, but he wouldn't let him know he was hurt. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Wrong. Bradshaw again from inside his five-yard line trying to throw. Now he has time. And finds a man open short of the first down. Swan. Double wing. Harris stays in to block. Wide open is Lynn Swan. That'll be a first down at the 47 of Pittsburgh. That Swan with one of his graceful, gliding, leaping catches. We're going to give you an isolate. Watch the beauty of Lynn Swan wanting a batter. Swan down, cuts hard across the middle. Got his eyes right on the quarterback. Goes up, just gracefully receives that ball, comes down. Takes a good shot in there. That's, uh, Both wide receivers to the right. It appears that Jones is offside. First down at the 14 to Swan. In heavy traffic, Tom London made the tackle. In talking to the Cleveland Browns, of course, they knew that uh, Swan was the favorite receiver and that that's the guy they would like to go to. But even though they know who Bradshaw wants to go to on those big downs, pretty hard to stop a combination like that when the timing is so perfect and when, when Swan is just so elusive. Baseball and soccer player in high school have paid off on that play. Bradshaw, Swan. Ooh, what a hit. 42-yard line, first down Pittsburgh. And this crowd comes to life. Swan, of course, with his great speed, has got to scare those defensive backs. And he uh, he gave him a little ripple like he was going deep. Stopped short, got back to the inside. He was all by himself. Bradshaw deep. Intercepted. Was that a touchdown? No. It touched the ground. Incredibly, that ball juggling between Clarence Scott and Lynn Swan. Almost a freak touchdown. You want to watch some, you want to watch some heart stopping action. It looks like Scott is going to have that ball. It hits on the ground. If that had hit on, on Scott's hands instead of on the ground, Lynn Swan would have had a touchdown. Well, Lynn Swan's going to debut as a radio commentator, sports commentator on a local radio station in Pittsburgh. He's going to have a lot to talk about tomorrow in his first show. We're going to stay with the action here in overtime. And Bradshaw to throw. Lynn Swan, first down at the 38-yard line of Cleveland. And now the Steelers are within a first down of a game-winning field goal. Clarence Scott made the tackle. Brad shot back. He throws this one back against the grain. He looks, looks to his left, looks to the defender's off, and zips it. It's a strong throw. That's one of the things he does better than just about any quarterback in football. Powerful arm, gets it to his favorite receiver, Lynn Swan. And he's been the top catcher in the game with those six. A reverse to Swan, a flea flicker, and it's Bradshaw to Cunningham. Touchdown! And they're shaking Three Rivers Stadium right off its foundation. The old flea flicker and Bradshaw is 6-5 tight end Cunningham. The Steelers win 